Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting and challenging question from algebraic equations. The given equation is 1 plus 1 over x power 5 equal to 1 plus 1 over x whole power 5. We have to find out all possible valid solutions. So let's get started by writing domain of the equation as usual. So I will write denominator cannot be 0. So I can consider x cannot be 0. Now I will consider LCM from both sides. So let us consider LCM x power 5 plus 1 over x power 5 LHS and RHS if I will write x plus 1 over x whole power 5. Done. Now using exponent properties or laws I can split my power x plus 1 whole power 5 divided by x power 5. As x is not 0, you can cancel these two denominators. So what is left? That is x power 5 plus 1 equal to x plus 1 whole power 5. Done. Now if I will ask you how many solutions are there? For this equation, this is quartic equation. Once you will expand, x power 5 will be cancelled out from both sides. So the maximum power of variable x, that would be 4 only. So 4 solutions for this equation. Done. And x is 0. x equal to 0 is also one solution, which is exempted x as per our domain condition. So for the given equation, this equation, three solutions are there. We will exempt zero also. So we are trying to find out these three solutions. So let's get started by Pascal triangle first. Because of you can see it is x plus 1 whole power 5 expansion is there. So I will use Pascal's triangle. Let me write the coefficient for power 5. So 1, 1, 1, 2, 1 for power 2, 1, 3, 3, 1 for power 3, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1 for power 4 and the concerned row for the coefficient 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1 is our required coefficient of the expansion. So this coefficient I will use while we are expanding this equations left hand side or RHS. Let me write here and then I will write x plus 1 whole power 5 equal to x power 5 plus 1. Coefficients were 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. These we will use. How it is? See, I will use coefficient common means this, this concept I will apply directly. 1 and 1. I will consider 5 and 5 and then take whatever it is 10 and 10. So I will club all the coefficients. Let me show you. 1 times first and last coefficient. So the maximum power and the minimum power. First and last term. Now second 5 I will take common. Then I need to consider 1 decrement in the power. So x power 4 and 1 increment in the 0 power. So 1. 10. 1 more decrement. So x cube, one more increment, so x square equal to x power 5 plus 1. Immediately you can cancel x power 5 plus 1, 5 plus 1. That is why I said this is one quartic equation. Now you can see, let me write first what is left. Let us consider x common from here and x square common from here. So 5x x cube plus 1 plus 10x is square, x is square common, x plus 1 and right hand side is 0. Divide this equation with 5. So x, x cube plus 1 plus 2x is square, x plus 1 equal to 0. Now I can see algebraic formula is on a cube plus b cube. Let us apply here, here. So I will write a plus b, x plus 1. In second bracket, a square plus b square minus ab. So, plus 1. 
now second term as it is 2x square times x plus 1 equal to 0. Now you can see x is also common, x plus 1 is also common. So x times x plus 1, if I will consider fully common, what would be left? x square minus x plus 1 plus 2x equal to 0. So next step you will write x square plus x plus 1. Let us write here x plus 1. x square plus x plus 1 equal to 0. Now we have to solve this equation. Let me write f dot g dot h equal to 0 then f equal to 0. Let us write x is equal to 0. Is this solution accepted? No. As per our domain, this one is rejected. Because equation is this, denominator cannot be 0. Come to the second bracket, I will write x is equal to negative 1, which is accepted solution true. Now for this bracket, I need to solve this quadratic equation x square plus x plus 1 equal to 0. Let us apply quadratic formula. So minus b plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac. x is equal to minus b plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So I will write minus 1 plus minus a square root minus 3 over 2. Then I will write minus 1 plus minus. Now I know a square root of negative 1 is i. So I will write here i root 3 divided by 2. And if you remember this thing, this is omega and omega square the cube root of unity. If you will check your answer, see total answers are 3 solutions minus 1 and these 2 complex solutions. So solutions are clear. Now we will verify. Let us verify. I will write x is equal to minus 1. This verification is easy. Verification. Let me put 1 plus 1 over minus 1 power 5, so minus 1, equal to 1 plus 1 over minus 1 whole power 5. So left hand side it will be 1 minus 1, right hand side it will be again 1 minus 1. So 0 is equal to 0, 0 power 5 is 0, so this value is true, means x is equal to minus 1 is verified. Now x was minus 1 plus minus i root 3 over 2. This is actually omega and omega square. Two values. Let me verify only one omega. But you should be aware of omega cube 1, this result, and 1 plus omega plus omega square equal to 0. Now let us apply this value. x equal to omega. So I will write 1 plus LHS, 1 over omega power 5. Now we know that 1 plus it is equal to omega power 5 will be omega square as omega cube is 1. Take LCM. So you will write omega square plus 1 ohm over omega square. And what is 1 plus omega square? These two. 1 plus omega square is equal to minus omega. Okay. So let us put over there minus omega and denominator is omega square. So LHS is coming out minus 1 over omega. Now we have to verify that RHS is also coming out minus 1 over omega. Let us put x equal to omega RHS. And LHS was minus 1 over omega. Okay. Let us put the value 1 plus 1 over omega whole power 5. Take LCM. So it will become omega plus 1 over omega whole power 5. Now we know that 1 plus omega plus omega square is equal to 0. So 1 plus omega I can write it is minus omega square. So you will write minus omega square over omega whole power 5. 
now cancel this power so what is coming out minus omega power 5 our LHS was minus 1 by omega. Now we know that it is minus omega power 5. We will write minus omega square. Okay. If I will see, I will multiply here with omega and omega. So omega cube is 1. That means minus 1 over omega. So both sides are coming out same. That means this is true solution for the equation which is complex in nature. So I will write our final solution and omega square you can verify and minus 1 plus minus i root 3 over 2. I hope this video will be meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye friends till next video. Take care of yourself. Good luck.